on today, a couple special things. The first thing we're going to be doing is we are on Ghost Simulator. And, um, I'll tell you who it is right a minute because I forgot to move this and I can't see his name. But the second special thing is we are on Ghost Simulator. And yeah, I have a bunch of money. I played on this all the time. I'm just showing it off today. Another, I'm showing off this map as well as something special that has happened if you all look I have completely changed my skin I think it looks nice what are we doing I'm going to turn that off because that's the one bad thing about this game it spams hints you see all this all this all this all over here but it's a little bit aggravating the game is essentially where you come in I got a hoverboard, yeah. <laughs> Special hoverboard. And you suck up stuff. Just like looking. Yeah, like that. And then you come back, sell. Every, I'm tiered out essentially a majority of everything, like the vacuums. Let's go all the way back. Start a vacuum. Sub vacuum. The rip vacuum. The 8 bit vacuum looks like a pencil. The hex vacuum, the energized vacuum, the charge vacuum, the number two vacuum, turbine vacuum, jet back vacuum, scuba vacuum, avoid vacuum, chroma vacuum, and the destroy vacuum, which is I have. And then you can upgrade your backpacks. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. The starter pack, and then you do it around once more. The sub pack, the rip pack, let's let it come around. The 8 bit pack, the hex pack, energized pack, charge pack, number 2 pack, which is, yes, it is a toilet. The turbine pack, the jet pack, it's not a real jet pack, so it's just a little bit Scuba pack, the void pack, the chroma pack from chroma? I don't know. I don't know which one is. And the distorted pack, which I have. As well as you can get pets. There's three different pet crates. I'm still working on to get all of the pets in the last crate. And there, you can only have a certain amount of pets. So if you go in your inventory, go over here. You can have 30 pets. You can have three on you anytime. I have the purple pegasus, the wisp. And the danger. I also have a bunch of other pets. <laughs> so, this guy over here, he's one of the first quest areas you go to. So, is this guy. This stuff takes forever to do. His, you have to do it my really easy. This is considered the forest area. It spawns these little dudes and huh, the owls. The owls are a bit harder to get than the little dudes. This is a boss area. I, if we have time, I'll show it to you. Because they're, they're on a cycle system, essentially. This is the area I'm going to show last because it just got added. Now, one of the things you got to do to get like certain hoverboard skins is find out people. Here is one of those people. Here is the next quest guy. You cannot open this area. Is that you try to go into this area before you finish all the quests over there and open up this area. You will be blinded. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun. Um, this quest is very difficult. There's the businessman ghosts in this area. Let's see. Am I going to be lucky? Nope. But there are cat ghosts as well in this area. This is another boss area. And this area connects to this area, but you cannot open this area until you open this area. I know, it's, it's different. But I'm going to go to this area first because it is... Oh, oh, we got lucky. There's a cat ghost. Very cute. Okay, I'm going to have to get off my hoverboard for this because I always have trouble with the corners. In this area, there are the construction men. Can you let me look at you? There you go. And maybe we'll lucky and we'll see the other ghost. Yep, right there. Pigeon. Pigeons are a bit harder. 
Now you need good tier gear, or you're just gonna sit here for like five minutes to zap these guys up. So make sure you upgrade your gear before you go into every area. This is a parkour area. Yeah, I'm doing it. Um, over here, I've already got it. So then we do in ten minutes. Is where we get gems every. I think this one's every half an hour. Now we're gonna head to the next area. Through here, and this is the junkyard. In the junkyard, we have the mechanical bus and the trash can bus. There it is. Right there. And right here is for one of the quest items for the guy in the city. You have to practically climb up underneath it to get it. Up here, oh, I fell. Oops. Corners are hard. Is the incinerator? You can take any items you get. You get items from ghosts, as well as gems sometimes. And you can burn items here. Oops. You can't just click out. You gotta walk off. I keep forgetting that. And up here. Yes, you can climb up on here. Up here is the next parkour area to get one of the clues. I am not doing it. They take forever. And the next area you unlock is this one, which is the sewer. The bag, paper bag ghosts. At this point, you should have your hoverboard so you don't have to walk around in the sewer because you get it from the, the dude in the city. Sadly, we weren't lucky enough to see one of the rats. Clear the area out, but there's still no guarantee one will spawn. It's the rare uh, ghost for this area. Now, if we go up here, we go to the next area to where the next quest line begins. In this area, this is the desert pyramid area, we have the bandits and the cowboys. This right here is another boss spot. This is your next quest guide, and if you go all the way over here, and then go up, here is another one of the figures you need to get for the hoverboard. Now, that's the next area we're technically going to, but I'm going to go over here first because we are here. This area you cannot open up until you open up what's down there. So if you go over here, oh, I lucked out. There are mummy ghosts in here, which are the rarer ghosts, and then the pharaohs. Hello, pharaoh, you can see this. Very cool. This continues over to this area that goes up. And more ghosts. But what you really want is if you go over here, go up to the third level, and oh, connections. See, potato. Now, this one is every four hours that you can collect stuff from. Okay. As you can see, it's another parkour area. It starts over here. And if we go down here, this is the next area. And this opens up to a laboratory. We have the laboratory guy, the scientist guys. We have little, I can't remember what their names are. It's a weird name that starts with like a two. Yeah, so if this this little area can use all the way over here, but if you go behind here, you'll get one of the creatures. The next area is over to here. Go to mine, which we have miner's axe. And let's see if we're lucky enough to get uh, here we go. I cannot remember what these are called. But they look like little geo dudes to me. Over here is one of the parkour areas. Once again, I'm not doing it. You can't make me. I had enough trouble trying to do it for the quest. Okay. Next area is up this ladder. Okay. This is the beach area, which has parrots, which I'm still working on for my daily quest. And they have parrots. And this is where the next quest line begins with the pirate. This area spans all the way. I go up here. So 
about how long it's going to get here from the parkour board. It's so up here, and then the parkour area goes up and around, almost all the way over there. Uh, the next area you unlock is down there, but I'm going to this area first. And this has the ice man, I can't remember what to call them, humans. This goes all the way down. And over here is the last guy you're going to be able to get. Because you cannot open the ice area until afterwards. And here's another one of these. Let's do the boss. Might as well show you. Now, the best strategy I found was to have your hoverboard out and be on it the whole time. I was a little bit too close, so he was able to hit me. This is like the tree spirit ghost. He lives in the forest area. All the different boss areas have different ghosts for the bosses. So, this takes a minute. You have to have more than one player doing this. Because otherwise, it won't pull from the ghost. Well, technically, I did try to do it by myself once, and I probably could have done it. Because I've got good enough equipment, but I'm not sure. Uh, I hate this. So it's just best to drop off your hoverboard when that happens. Because otherwise you're going to get set flying. Still a little bit too close for him to do that. Try not to huddle up together because he likes to do the big shot when there's more than one person in the area. Yeah, see? They crumble, they all came together in that one area and you targeted it. Down. Because if you're not on your hoverboard when that happens, you just go straight down and jump up. Don't try to run either, because no matter what you do, you kind of get caught by them. It's actually just to let it hit you. Somehow I'm always lucky in this, and he doesn't they don't target me that much. Other than the one little red bullets where he uh, shoots out at everybody. All the rooms are dodgeable. Well, that one's not dodgeable. You can get right back up there really quick to go. And hit his head. I'm gonna knock off real quick. It's something I noticed that the longer you're on there, they'll like target you. shovel. And to get back to this area, you press the cell area or when it pops up that you're full to fast travel. There's also a teleporter over here, so you have to do that later. Now if you go over here and you go down into the water is the next area. We have mermaids here. You can make a look at it. I'm on stand too. There you go. Then we have the divers. Let me go down. There you go. There's diver. Now, if you're just starting off in the area, of my bet, my best bet, because this is what I did. I just sat right here and got all these four ghosts over and over again. And the next thing is over here is one of the people. And then over here is the sword that you're going to need for one of the quests. There is not a parkour area currently here. There might, they might add one, I don't know. If we go over here, this is to wait to the next area. And this is the volcano. we got two types of people here. The lava men. Oh, you cannot, I'll, I'll demonstrate after I run over here, but you can't step in the lava. Um, we got the little rock dudes, the lava rock dudes, and then over here, 
Echo Token Converter, which I'm going to do now. Because I don't really have any need for the money right now. I need the tokens to be able to buy pets to do quests. So yes, I am done now in this area. I might as well watch what happens. That's what happens. Do not try it. Yeah, I know. The boss area is right there. Yeah, you have to deal with not only his attacks, but making sure you don't have the lava. Now this goes up over here into one of our last quest areas. I am still working on his quest, so I do not have this area open. Actually, I do. Why didn't I know I had this area open? Okay, we'll come back in this for a minute, because I haven't even looked at the area, because the last time I tried to go to it, it wouldn't let me. The next area, I'm just going to press sell. I just sort of teleport back. Is this area over here, which uh, if you want to do this area, you got to do it soon because it's a limited time event. We are essentially in space. The best thing in this area is to have your hoverboard out. And then when your nose dips down for your hoverboard, you can press space bar and it will lift you up once more. So it's like you have infinite jumps. Uh, uh, there's two types of ghosts in this area. There's the astronaut ghosts, and the fastest way is to jump off. The astronaut ghosts, and then the little red aliens. I don't know if they have any names. There's also a little bit of glitchy here. If you try to turn your hoverboard sometimes on when you're on the ground, you'll like glitch into it. The best thing is just jump, put it on, and you do that. Now, the ghosts span from the majority of the asteroids all the way up to there. And this special event is for five different pets. And then I believe it's five different hunger boards. The Moon Rider, the Moon Rock, the Stardust, the Starfleet, which I have a spaceship I'm still currently working on. The pet crate here. I have the army and the light light. I don't have the earth wall, the boring, or the godly pet from this area. Sadly enough. So let's head back through. Let's go explore the area I did not know I had open. Alright. I think I showed you where all the guys are, and I didn't apologize, I just might be forgetting what one or two is. So let's go up here. I'm serious, I didn't know I had this open. This is so cool, I haven't been in here before. So this will show you one of the quests. Hi, hi, finally someone new played it. It's been ages that I've seen someone like you around here. I'm Ghost Hunter Shelly. You can call me Ghost Hunter Shelly. Okay, yay! Do you want to play a game? I love games. If you win, I'll give you another extra pet slot and a hoverboard. If you win, you have to stay away with me ever. We could be best of friends, what you say. Yay, I'm so glad you want to play. Okay, so first we need more friends to play. Go catch 50 gesture ghosts so we can all have some fun. I'll bring the picnic. You bring the friends. If you return to me after, I'll give you a full reward, so you better come back. So that's how... Essentially, okay. Inventory, you have this area where your pets are. The character, I have mine all, my Entega level all maxed out, but you can upgrade it by clicking here. So you can open the chest from bosses. Bosses, ugh. These are on my parts. It shows me how many parts I have. My hoverboards, I have the hyperspace unlocked. The Chrome board, the Flame board, Starfleet, Surfboard, X board, which you get from finding all the guys, the Stardust, the Thunder board, the Tie Dye board, the Echo board, the Moon Rock, the Red Camo board, the Watermelon board, the Basic Hover board, which is what you get immediately upon getting the board, the Moon Rider, and so far I haven't had these unlocked. But my favorite so far is the Starfleet. Now, if you go to your journal, you can get your quests here. You can switch out which one you want tracking, so I'm going to put it on this one. The index shows you how much pets you got. You see, I haven't got that one yet. I haven't got any of these yet. Still missing the one from him. 
Um, I still need to get the one from him. Got two of the five from here, and then there's the limited edition pets that are like locked. The index shows it how, what pose you've got from which area. Alright. But like I said, this is entirely new area. Well, here's the shop. Vacuums. Oh, new vacuums. Ooh. Looks like there's the Hara vacuum, the Starfighter vacuum, the RFT 87 vacuum. And it looks like I'm gonna have some fun. Hot Rod Pack. The Starfighter Pack. Oh, I like that. It's cute. The RFT 87 Pack. Pet Crates. This is the fourth pet crate. Boo, new, but the Dusty Owl, Dart, Shells. Somebody gave me the Dray Dream. That's why I have it. Nightmare, the Firefish, the Fury, and the Turkey. <laughs> the Turkey's cute. And then there's the goblin one. Okay, let's fix it out. Okay, we got this all over here. Seems, yes, it seems like the variety is the same over in the other area. Okay. Both of you. I've got triple strings though, so I'll make it faster to catch ghosts. You get that from the quest from the pirates. Pirate. I've already completed all of the Luna quests, which is in the very first area. I'm not going to do this right now because it's probably as well. We don't want to sit me to watch me sit here for like five minutes and do this. Well, more than five minutes. It takes a while for this sometimes. Okay. Right. This place is so pretty. What in the world is that? I think this is, I think, yeah, this is the mini boss. I just heard about them, but I, I, we were always wondering where they were. This guy, I'm pretty sure you can do by yourself. I'm gonna leave him alone before he gets really upset with me. Though. Let's see what's over here. Oh, here's another one of the ghosts. What is this? I have no clue what's at the top of this. The monkey ghost. That's in the town area. This might just be another park where we're Let's see. I got two of those guys. Maybe 29. Okay. Go back to the graphic. That surprised me quite a bit. Now the reason I was hoping that I might do this, go back to the side area. Yeah. As well as, maybe I'll have some good luck with you guys watching. Please give me the pet that I need. Nope, I got a black cat. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to teleport works. You just walk over here. This is the main areas, but if you click over here, this is some of our sub areas. So yeah, all you have to do is click on the number which you want to go. Let's go to two because that's where the boss is, and I'll show you. 
This is the Karela Ghost. Or Monkey Ghost. So yeah. And then you can click the map up to show you all the areas. Click over here, same. And I also have magnet tracks all drop items towards you, which I get got during one of the quests. I can't remember which area that was. I think it was the desert area, I'm not hundred percent sure. There are daily quests, which I'm still working on. Twitter. There's some codes. I don't know if it's supposed to be able to tell you guys. Uh, but there's one currently in the description of the game. There's a couple other ones, but I'm gonna let you figure this out by yourself. But the mystery's never occurred anymore. Um, and then there's this stuff. I never really looked at this. Goblin Oaf. And then there's Sunset, Goblin Void Runner. The game passes, more agility, which makes you go faster. Two times gems, double luck. Double luck is for the pets. So you can like have a better chance of getting more rare pets. Two times echo tokens, double items, that's for what the ghost drops when you get them. Plus two pet slots, plus 70 pet storage, double range, which is good to get um, ghosts back further away. Two times souls means you get twice amount for whatever fills up our bar or our backpack. Quick unbox. Well, I think that just means if you get a box, like I did from Billy defeating one of the, the bo bosses, it automatically unboxes, so you don't have to deal with it. I think that's it, guys. Wait, let me show you Luna, Luna real quick. I've completed all her quests. So, she, you cannot talk, even though she is in the forest area, you cannot do her quests until you have upgraded your antenna to level 10. It just won't, it'll be completely blanked out and you won't be able to talk to it. So with that guys, please leave a like if you liked, comment if you wish, and so for more people. As well as, before we go, the person who made this was Box, Box Bite Games. With that, I am out people, bye!